Hi there, I'm Meg and welcome back to His Blessed Mest, um, my channel on YouTube where I talk about my family and some of the solutions I find to make our life a little easier. Uh, today we're going to be going over my 10 year old daughter's summer capsule wardrobe and I will go ahead and include a picture of what we had on hand um, so that you can get an idea of what we started with. Now, um, for those of you who are just tuning in and have no idea what a capsule wardrobe is, I encourage you to watch the video I made about capsule wardrobes, like how to get them started and what exactly they are <laughs> as far as applying them to your children. So that video I will link in the comments below. All right, let's go inside and check it out. I almost forgot to include the list of clothing in my 10 year old's capsule wardrobe. Um, she did ask me not to share her number of undergarments, so out of respect for her wishes, I will not be sharing those numbers, um, but they are involved in her capsule. <laughs> she has four pairs of pajamas, three tank tops, four t-shirts, two pairs of pants, two skirts, four shorts, four pairs of shoes, two outerwear, two swimwear, and two dresses and eight pairs of socks. Now that is to say that was my initial intention. As you will see, the actuality varies from the initial intention, but what we did wind up with worked really well for her. So now let's go check it out. So I will be, you know, talking you through everything in her capsule, but I thought I would just give you a quick glance as an overview. She does have three pairs of shoes. Um, she actually has one more pair. It's a pair of flip-flops, but these are the three that we took with us on our trip, and these are the primary shoes that she wears. Um, she has her tennis shoes, her dressier sandals, and then these fun crops. So even though these are summer capsules, I do have one pair of jeans, a hoodie, and a raincoat for all of my kids. And if it's not you know, a specific hoodie, it's at least a sweatshirt of some kind, just dependent upon the weather. Um, the raincoats I use are by Columbia, and they make fantastic windbreakers. And then she also has two dresses to help her with getting ready for church and, you know, some of the, the nicer outings that will go on. So my 10 year old is a very sporty kiddo. And so she does have two athletic outfits that I did not initially plan on her having. Um, that said, not including undergarments, but including everything you saw pictured, there, there were only 24 items. So it's really not too excessive for her. Um, those are not pants, those are capris, and then she's got the t-shirt, she also has a tank top and shorts. Now, while these two athletic outfits don't coordinate with each other, they do still follow my rule of two, my rule of two, and you will see them intermingled with the other outfits. She was absolutely adamant about keeping those two athletic outfits I showed you before, and I was adamant about sticking to our rule of two, and I told her that I had no idea how she was going to make that happen. This is how she did it, and um, she decided that this love t-shirt and her tropical girl t-shirt were both things that could match with the bottoms to make them compliant with our rule of two. So my daughter does have five t-shirts in her capsule and then she does have two tank tops. And the lighting is really not liking that shirt. That shirt in the middle is, it's a black shirt but it's got these sequins that are also black so it, it gets a little iridescent and she loves the way it looks and reflects in the light. Um, the new purchases we had to make in this for her tops were the shirt on the far left and this shirt over here on the far right and then both of the tank tops had to be purchased. Even though she's more of my tomboy she does still have two skirts and the leopard print skirt ended up being one that she was pleasantly surprised by. I went ahead and grabbed it because leopard print is one of her favorite things and it just so happens that all of the colors in it coordinate really well with what she has in her capsule. And the, the two skirts and these two pairs of shorts in the middle were new additions. These two pairs of shorts on the ends were the shorts that she already had. These were her favorite outfits and these were the outfits that she put together the most when she would get dressed. And here is another view of those same tops with different bottoms to follow my rule of two. Here are her three favorite bottoms with three different tops to show them with the rule of two. And if you notice in the middle is that athletic t-shirt that I had mentioned before. I showed you some of her favorite outfits. These were some of my favorite outfits to be paired together. And um, you can, there's that black shirt again that's really hard to get to show up for the camera with the sequins and then the fun skirt. This shirt in the middle here, um, some of you may recognize it if you're American Girl Doll fans. This was the shirt for the Girl of the Year in 2016, 
maybe it was 2015. It was her first American Girl doll. And so she got the outfit to match and she just really does not want to give up that shirt. So I was happy to see it in her capsule and it actually caused us to branch out more into that color than I thought that we were going to initially. And then here is just, I feel like that toucan is so much fun. And not being the girly girl, but she does still like the bling. So this one has some glitter sunglasses for her. And there are many more combinations that can be made from mixing and matching the rest of the pieces. I just wanted to give you a great idea of some of the things she wore often and some of the things I like to see her wear. So I hope that gives you a good idea or a better idea of how to make a 10 year old's capsule wardrobe functional. Um, because she is my fashionista, she did have a lot more opinions than my other children did when building their wardrobes, which is why I conceded a little bit on some of the athletic wear. And so until next time, uh, if you liked the video, please click the like button down below. And if you found this helpful and you'd like to see more of my capsule wardrobe videos or more of the videos that I'll be posting in the future about my family, um, please go ahead and click the red subscribe button. And until next time, I hope you find the blessings in the mess.